Yep, we even do tech news on St. Paddy's Day, a deeply confusing holiday for me, a Canadian with a very Irish sounding name, despite my much stronger German ancestry. Am I allowed the accent or not? Moving on. Microsoft accidentally uninstalled its Copilot chatbot app from many PCs this week, thanks to a bug in a number of recent Windows 10 and 11 updates. And after months of dealing with glitches caused by, particularly the Windows 11 24H2 update, PC users really needed this. I mean, with mistakes this great, who needs the fixes, <laughs> you know? Microsoft has been strongly pushing Copilot in the past couple years, constantly prompting users to try it, adding a Copilot key to Windows laptops, and even inexplicably slapping it on the end of the app suite formerly known as Office, which is now called Microsoft 365 Copilot. Very branding, much smooth. Microsoft addressed the bug in a support document saying it's aware of the issue, but in the meantime, affected users can reinstall the app from the Microsoft Store, and it's working on a resolution to address this issue. <laughs> Whoops, uh, let's just get that reinstalled. Wait, 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 uh, uh, actually, I'm good. <laughs> no, you need this. We've seen the way that you write emails. Uh, you've seen my emails? And they're fixed, I gotta go. <laughs> Valve's latest SteamOS preview build has dropped, including in its release notes, the tantalizing line, beginnings of support for non-Steam Deck handhelds, which is just a gloriously non-specific collection of words. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. It gets the articles going. Of course, it is a sign that Valve is getting closer to releasing a version of SteamOS that can be installed on other handhelds, which the company promised earlier this year. For everything else, there's Badzite. Badzite? Badzite? But beyond just handhelds, SteamOS 3.7.0 Preview pushes the war against Windows forward by upgrading from Plasma 5.7 to Plasma 6.2.5, allowing for a more full-featured desktop mode. We're still quite a ways away from PC gamers being able to switch from Windows to SteamOS en masse, but we'll get a general install version of SteamOS eventually. Although I'm definitely mentally preparing for Valve to pull a Valve and just release SteamOS episode one and two. Fresh info about the iPhone 17 Air has been dropped by Apple Oracle Germatronius Prime, AKA Mark German, bearer of the matrix of Germanship. The extra thin phone will reportedly arrive this fall with a 6.6 inch display. Apple apparently prototyped a 6.9 inch model to match the Pro Max, but we're concerned about starting Bendgate all over again. 6.6 .6 inches is much less susceptible to bending. Good luck with this one, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Rumors from other sources corroborate German's prediction of the first foldable iPhone launching in 2026 and point to the iPhone 17 Air being five and a half millimeters thin, which according to these dummy versions of the whole lineup, make the non-Air iPhones look dummy thick, which would mean they look good, which could actually be valid, uh, be less susceptible to them. Don't explain the joke, Riley, just move on. Move on to our sponsor, Odoo, and their full suite of business management software. It puts everything you need on one user-friendly platform. So you don't need to go, oh, accounting, I need these guys for that, and building a website, I need to sign up for this other thing. No, you don't. All you gotta Odoo is sign up for a free trial with Odoo. Their apps make it super simple to manage all aspects of your business. Generate and send invoices that automatically convert currencies, use mobile devices for point of sale, assign employee duties on a modern project management interface. I could go on, but we'd literally be here all day and we'd enjoy it. Now you don't have to use all of the apps. If you only need to use one, it's free. Whatever your needs are, use our link for a free 15 day trial with no credit card required or book a demo with their expert team to learn how Odoo can help your business. Okay, should be safe to do the quick bits in here now. I drove out all the snakes. And we're even on a green screen. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Amazon has notified owners of Echo devices that they'll no longer have the option to not send their voice recordings to Amazon servers because now their AI is so powerful, it needs cloud processing. Yes, they've hoovered up the entire internet and need more training data. That's 
it's not relevant. Speaking of better AI, people have discovered the recently upgraded Gemini is really good at removing watermarks from images, something I've been doing with regular Photoshop for years. I don't use them commercially, I just remove licensing protections because it makes me feel like a big man. Roku has started injecting an ad on users' screens before their home screen even loads up. Understandably, users were completely taken aback with one posting on Roku's forums that they hope this is just a fluke. But Roku told Ars Technica, nope, this is expected behavior. But Roku seemed to think everyone should just chill. I mean, they're just trying it out, guys. See if you like it. What are you doing instead while waiting for things to load? Having a contemplative moment of intentional human thought, you frickin' loser? Buy more things! <laughs> like the Google Pixel 9a, if you live in Dubai, because it's apparently already on sale there, leading two YouTubers to publish full unboxing videos, one in Hindi and one in English, before the phone has even been officially announced. You could say these guys are being disrespectful. You could also say, you know, release dates aren't real. They're made up. Congrats, you don't need to go to college anymore. The stable release of GIMP 3.0 has arrived, the most popular open source image editing software named after an offensive slur. As promised, the new version doesn't stop at a overhauled user interface people might actually enjoy using. It also adds a boatload of new features that make it totally worth the 21 year wait since the launch of version 2.0. I know there's been a million updates since then, but I only use the round number ones. <laughs> and Qualcomm announced a trio of new Snapdragon G series processors designed to power a new generation of gaming handhelds, like the One X Player One X Sugar which has an additional screen with a different aspect ratio that can flip up from the back and controllers that can swivel to flank either display. This little astronaut was so shocked he took off his helmet in space to look at it. What are you doing? Oh, it's AI generated. Oh, that's why. Oh man, you better come back on Wednesday for more tech news because you're gonna need something else to distract you from thinking about that little cartoon guy suffocating in the icy void. Uh, like what? <laughs>